Hey, you guys, what's happening? What's happening out there in the world of the world of bass? Andy Irvine coming to you one more time from my crib. I'm gonna give you guys something maybe you can use for doing a warm up. It's something that I do. People ask me all the time how I warm up, and uh, you know, this is kind of usually what I do, which is just based on fourths, and I um, I play a groove. And then I move it up in fourths. So a fourth of a fourth of a fourth of a fourth. So I'll pick some kind of line. Don't matter what it is. Just something like, um, like uh, for, we'll start on G. We'll do like, maybe like a New Orleans feel, funky New Orleans feel. I'll show you that first. So that'll be the line, I guess, and then we'll go. And then I'll move that up a fourth from there. It'll be a C, but I'll do it up here. Right? Then I'll go on uh, up a fourth from that, but I'll drop it down to the F on the B string on the sixth fret. I'll go up to the uh, fourth above that, B flat. And then a fourth above that's going to be E flat, but I'll drop it down to the fourth fret on the B string. Up a fourth from that, A flat. Up a fourth from that will be uh, C natural, or C sharp rather, which will be the second fret. I'll do it on the second fret of the B string. And this is getting you warmed up good because you're down here in this low stretchy, stretchy zone. Up a fourth from that is F sharp. to B. Up a fourth is B. I'll come up to the seventh fret on the on the E string. The fourth above that is E. I'll come down to the fifth fret on the B string. Up a fourth from that is A. We'll do it on the fifth fret of the E string. Up a fourth from that is D, but I'll drop it down to the third fret of the B string. And then we're back to G, so we went through the whole cycle. Fourth of a fourth of a fourth of a fourth of a fourth. <laughs> So to answer all those people's questions about how I warm up, 
that's one of the ways I do it. I just try and groove on something and do it in a way that uh, sounds kind of musical rather than just doing like the typical you know the spider exercise or whatever those are cool too but you know it's good to do something that makes you think theoretically a little bit too to get your mind firing when you're warming up right because playing is about your mind and your fingers firing you know simultaneously and, and really and really making things happen between what you're thinking what you're hearing and what you're playing so if you challenge yourself when you're warm up to something like you know something simple like that just thinking in terms of fourth so you're thinking what your next move is all the time then uh, then that that's kind of warming everything up at the same time you see what I'm saying and then um, just you know force in general sound musical the fourth of a fourth of a fourth moving like that um, it just sounds musical. It sounds like a chord progression. So it doesn't sound um, like an exercise. It sounds like music, especially if you put a groove on it. And another cool thing I was going to say about this whole thing with the force is uh, like, say you're doing some slapping. Do these cool runs with fours. So there's another cool thing you can do with them fourths. Have fun getting warmed up and warming up with something musical. Peace, y'all.